Hey guys, this is Lisa Merrill, and Molly and I are here for the TMD tip of the day. Well, Molly right now is showing you part of the fermentation method. We're saving our seed because we're going to grow out plants from these little seeds. So, you can see here about, uh, let's see, on the 5th, uh, we demonstrated how to get the seed into the jar, but now it's five days later, so it's time to get these babies out of the jar, okay? So what we're going to do is, is take our fermented uh, seeds that has this nice moldy film over the top, and it actually is kind of stinky. When bit. it gets stinky, yes. <laughs> when it gets stinky, you know it's ready to go. All right. So since we do this in the home, that's just how it goes. All right. So over here, my list of supplies is very easy. This is a finely woven sieve. We're gonna need that. We're gonna need our bucket that we use. It can be the same bucket that we use to squish into. I just use the same one to decant and a plastic plate. Plastic is important. You don't want paper because your seeds will stick to it. You can do wax paper. And uh, we're actually going to do the yellow 1884 pink heart today. All right. Uh, let's see. This one was actually done on the third, so we're ready to go. This one's five days. The other one wasn't quite five days. So what I'm going to do here is take my bucket for the contents. Oh my lord, it stinks. Okay, but that's all right. And I'm going to stick this under the water and fill it up with a good amount of water here. And I'm wanting it to kind of stir everything up to make sure the seeds are out of the pulp. The good seeds, the viable seeds, will fall to the bottom of the uh, bucket. All right, this bucket's kind of on its last leg, so wouldn't that be funny if it broke right now? Mm -hmm. So we're going to pour mm -hmm. this gently. I'm kind of pouring the top off and visualizing that my seeds are in that bottom part. And I keep my eye on it just to make sure there aren't a bunch of seeds coming out in that pulp. Alright, so that's about what it, we're looking like here. I'm just going to set that down here and I'm going to do another water rinse. And like I said, you want to stir it up nicely. That way you make sure you get all your good seeds from out of that pulp. Alright. Now you end up having to do this about two, three, four times. Can you see those? I'm waiting for the seeds to drop. Now I'm going to start pouring it off. And it's not a difficult process, but it is a little bit time consuming. But since we save our seed for long periods of time, I want to make sure I get all that pulp off. That way, when the seeds dry, there won't be a tendency to mold. We don't want mold. Now when I'm done with all this, when the seeds are actually dry, I'm going to store them in the freezer. Alright, that's good enough. Normally I would get all this out, but for demonstration purposes, we'll just do it this way. Now I'm going to slap all the contents of this out of the way. Okay, rinse this out. I should have already done that, but I forgot. That's alright. You're staying with me, I hope. And then you can just put as much water as you want to in there. I'm going to pour it into the sieve and kind of, I'm not going to hurt the seeds. I'm just kind of pushing some of the gel off just in case there's any excess. You can be a little bit rougher than you would think with these seeds. It's not hurting them at all. All right, so I've got them all here. The next important thing, actually, that I do want to demonstrate is making sure that you take your tape off of the jar now it's going to be placed on the plate. And I'm going to write in today's date so that I know when they're going to be dry. So today is 7, 8, and you don't want it to be wet when you do that, but that's all right. We're still going here. All right, so you take your little sieve, flip it over, and slap it. So you've slapped all the seeds out of there. Now Dad always taught me to kind of take your finger and just break them up a little bit just to give them some room to dry. You don't need to have them, you know, you don't need to go in there with a toothpick or anything and get each one separated because after they dry, we're going to break them up a little bit. And we'll be showing you that probably in another week or so. Uh, after they're nice and dry, we'll show you how to package them up and store them. But in the meantime, you can go to the website at tomatomansdaughter.com and we have uh, all of these tips listed out for you so you can print them out in case you forget. So have, you great, have great success and we'll see you soon. Thanks.